Week's mission is to move the print and paper industry from a carbon positive linear model to a carbon negative circular model. This is what the planet needs and it's also what the market demands today. Uh, we have hundreds of requests now from global organizations looking to endorse our solutions. So let's dive into this now and see how we do it. So we love trees. Trees are very important to our planet for many reasons. Does anybody disagree? Anybody raise their hand? Okay. So besides generating the oxygen we all breathe, trees sequester the carbon we all emit. We talked about carbon before and how we must uh, find a way to sequester it. So we love trees, but we also love paper. So the world prints on paper. For thousands of years, we're, <laughs> we're using paper. So we want to change that paradigm. Uh, and this is a lot of paper. So 40% of the global tree harvest is actually used for the production of paper, making it the fourth largest GHG emitting industry. So that's a lot of trees, but it doesn't, doesn't end with a tree crashing down. Uh, when a tree is chopped down, uh, we're destroying a resource that can give the planet 100 years of carbon sequestration. And this to make paper with a lifetime of one month. So that doesn't make any sense from any respects. So for the last 40 years or more, people have been trying to solve this problem. So uh, anybody have an idea on how we solve the problem? Conventionally. So um, this is one idea. That's what we're talking about for 40 years or actually 50 years. Let's go paperless. So we've been talking about it, but office paper production consumption remains more or less steady. That may be a surprise to you, even though some of you may print less, but this is the reality. And we have growing demands right now for paperboard, for packaging, deliveries. So another direction that we're talking about is recycling. So the problem with recycling of paper is that fibers are weakened each cycle and also generating negative water energy and emission impacts. So in the case of office paper specifically, or any print paper, 95% of all print paper is downcycled. It's not really recycled, it's downcycled. So additional virgin fiber is required continuously. So recycling hasn't really, has failed to significantly dent tree harvest. So the problem is not finding the solution, the problem is the problem. So sometimes in order to find the solution, we just need to reframe the problem. So the conventional thinking is that we print too much, and then the solution is to print less. But people print, that's what we do. So that's not really moving the needle. So another way of reframing the problem is that we print on paper just once. And then, as I mentioned, it just goes down into the garbage can. And in one use and we're done. Paper shredded and downcycled for making carton or tissue paper. So the whole industry is actually dependent on the continual flow of fresh tree fiber. So we have to move from this linear model to a circular model. Uh, the solution is to print on paper not once, but 10 times or more. So just imagine if you could print out a document, read it. Once you're done with it, you don't throw it in the garbage or the recycle bin or the shredder. Instead, you run it through our laser deprinter device. The printer removes the ink, which point you're back ready to go again with the clean white page. And then you can print on that same document again and on and on and on. And you can do that for 10 times or more. So we've reframed the problem. But how do we actually do it? And how, how does the magic work? How can we reprint on the same sheet of paper? So I'll take, give, give you a, a peak view under the hood of a laser deprinter in action. So what you're seeing here is a close-up view of laser deprinting, a standard color laser printed sheet. So laser deprinting is actually industry standard tested for deinkability. It's the only solution today uh, to achieve a 100% deinking score for a non-chemical, non-mechanical process. So what you're seeing here is actually this sheet of paper, and what you're seeing here is this removal of the ink, but without any damage to the paper whatsoever. It says new. So, but laser deprinting is just one element of the solution. So the magic requires a little bit more effort than uh, laser. So REAP circular printing by design uh, combines three distinct scientific disciplines working in a continuous cycle and a feedback loop. So we have photonic science, Okay, which I just witnessed uh, can laser deprint all inks in all colors used in standard printers. With material science, we deliver environmentally friendly coatings and additives to make print paper more durable and damage free during deprinting and reprinting. And with data science, we deliver consistent, accurate processing and transparent sustainability reports on a per print basis. That is uh, actually a, a holy grail of how we actually deliver this because there's no other way to do this. You have to actually do it in a digital way. Uh, now let's zoom back out from the deep tech to the solution level. So we reinvent printing to become circular, but we don't need to reinvent print hardware. 
the world has a huge sunk investment in printers and inks. Hundreds of millions are installed. So if we really want to accelerate the transition to circular printing and make a large impact, we have to work with existing printers. So this is exactly what we do. Reef Circular Printing is printer agnostic. It works with existing printers and existing inks. So I can show you this sheet, test sheet, with different inks from all the different brands. So we also realized, uh, based on customer and market needs, that sustainable printing was undermet by any existing solution on the market. So the REAP solution addresses the key market needs for print sustainability without compromise on three points. On the security level, by completely eliminating all the ink, there are no data security issues and we avoid the need for shredding, which is also bad for recycling or loss of fibers. Secondly, at the economic level, the system reduces the, the user's uh, total print lifecycle costs and we're offering it as a click charge service, which means that customers don't have a CapEx hurdle to adopt the technology nor replacement costs. And thirdly, at the operational level, there's no impact on paper quality or printing quality. So you can reprint, reprint on the paper and get sustainability impact reports on a per print basis, but everything else stays the same. So same printer, same ink, same everything. So now I'd like to dive in on the sustainability impacts, uh, which are at the heart of the solution and, and the key motivation to reinvent legacy print and paper. So this analysis is based on an industry standard LCA calculator that presents some of the UN SDG impacts of reef circular printing versus the legacy. Uh, the analysis shows a 98% in wood biomass re uh, reduction, 90% uh, reduction in solid waste and water, and a 70% reduction for the same amount of prints. So this is quite dramatic. And the last point there is the carbon negative, which is uh, going to answer the question if we can do it. Um, so most importantly, when you combine the biomass and energy reduction with the impact of carbon sequestration from trees standing as a result of circular printing, we can directly transition office printing operations from carbon positive to carbon negative. So I think that from a technical perspective, at least, we answer the question, if we can make printing on paper climate positive. That's what you're seeing there on the right-hand side. So in the remaining time, I think I have seven minutes good, uh, I'd like to address some predictions for the future on how we can potentially accelerate market transition to circular printing for making maximum impact. So this uh, actually requires us to think big. Um, firstly, we need large adoption. So uh, this is a key point. And uh, as I mentioned earlier, the Reef Circular Printing solution uh, is offered as an all-inclusive click chart service. So we will need to include the printer devices, reprintable media, and support uh, for customers. But for the customer point of view, it completely eliminates the need to procure, store, collect, and shred and recycle single-use printer paper. That's very dramatic for customers. That's why they're calling us. So it also reduces the life cycle cost versus single print. Uh, the second point is we need big financial leverage fit for the task. So I think this is the biggest hurdle that most companies have as how they can scale and, and take on a large industry. So we found that sustainable finance and green bonds uh, are today a $2 trillion market and they're projected to reach $9 trillion by 2030. So the REAP service assets uh, can be financed by GSBs called green securitized bonds. And um, they securitize the income from the service contracts that REAP holds with its customers. And similar to solar financing and other green assets, this approach, this approach allows customers to acquire the service without CapEx investments. And it could be applicable for other kinds of technologies in the market. Um, and the GSVs are a very good fit for the REAP service. So we're pooling standard green assets and continually monitored with circular print data services. So this is very important for green bonds. Uh, which can then supply the necessary capital for a $150 billion circular print market opportunity by 2030. That's a prediction by Frost and Sullivan, an industry report. So um, as a recap, uh, the required innovation to make printing on paper climate positive is not only at the technology level, that's quite obvious, but firstly, how we frame the problem and scaling via the use of emerging green structured finance instruments. So that's the story. Thank you for coming along. And uh, we'd be delighted if you join us on the journey.